here's what happened. Uh, we were here, they were there, and the porter was here. They put us here, 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 and we had a seal right there. And here's what I thought would have happened, but this is not what happened. They have a, a plan for disaster. They have a plan for bombs. They have a plan for everything. Whether one person knows it or no people know it, there is a plan somewhere in somebody's desk, and they just fail to execute. It is something we can agree on is the legitimate biological hazard we were consistently being exposed to. The sewer backed up. And you don't leave people in human excrement. You don't feed them in human excrement. You don't lock them up in there and walk away from it. You mitigate it in some manner. It doesn't take training to know that. Their lack of preparation for anything like that. It was just poorly run from pre-incident to post-incident. Nobody was thinking. The lack of care for our health long term the way they treated the health matter, where they could have called in people. The decision was to handle it in-house. Obviously, you have a sewage problem beyond the capability of maintenance. It was just poor decision after poor decision. They literally just <laughs> walked in, no explanation, and proverbially shut up. The health and safety of those inmates is, it might be in a mission statement somewhere, they might have a vision statement, but in reality, each inmate is responsible for his own safety. It's crazy.